everybody. I just wanted to do a quick little mini tutorial on the lateral lunge in general, but specifically the uh, double dumbbell lateral lunge when they're in the low position, because that's, happen that's in a lot of programs right now, and I'm seeing the same thing happening to a lot of people, which is when they do that lateral lunge, in order to try and get the dumbbells lower, they are basically just folding over rather than relying on a, a hinge and knee flex. See, the thing about the lateral lunge is that it is a combination hinge and squat, or single leg squat, or however you want to look at it. Because it's not just going, if you watch, you're not just going like this, all right? You're shooting the hips back to get into that, that lateral lunge position, all right? So I'm shooting my hips back and my knees flexing. So it's through that combination that the, the dumbbells will get down. What I'm seeing happening is when people do the lateral lunge, they stop the knee flexion and the hinge, and they just go down with the dumbbells like that. So what I'm seeing a lot of is this. And then they just bend over to get down. All right? And that's not what we want to see. Even if the dumbbells don't get all the way to the ground, because you can't do, uh, maybe you, you run out of room with your, uh, in your hip joint or your knee doesn't want to flex that far, then stop. Only go so far, only lower the dumbbells as far as you can based on the hinge and the squat. All right? If you can get into a deep hinge squat, then great. If not, again, only go as low as the knee bend and the hip hinge allow rather than trying to get the dumbbells lower by bending over, okay? Hope that makes sense. It is really quick and it's just meant to sort of complement what we'll say to you in person when you're training. All right, as always, train smart, train hard, keep fit, and have fun.